$800. That is fabulous. Like three bucks into 800. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about plush bolos. In other words, stuffed animals to be on the lookout for. Items you can hopefully buy low and flip for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These bolos, bolo item to be on the lookout for, come, these come from my bolo buddies Facebook group. So I basically put this screenshot up under the announcements and invite anybody in the group that would like to share a plush bolo to share. So I'm going to share with you their solds, and this is going to help everybody learn and become better resellers so that we know what to look for. Uh, let's start here with the first one. And it says Build-A-Bear Workshop Pokemon Bulls. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Bulbsar? I don't know. It's a Build-A-Bear plush. It's retired. Bought at a yard sale for $3 and sold for $75. How cool is that? It's a Build-A-Bear. And if you guys want to learn about other Build-A-Bear that go for big money, some of them go for hundreds of dollars. You just got to know what to look for. Many are bread and butter, which means they sell cheap and take a while to sell. But a lot of them big money. So check out some of my big money Build-A-Bear Bolo videos. The next one is this Disney Stitch Aloha uh, Christmas Build-A-Bear Workshop Plush. So here is another Build-A-Bear. There it is. It's got all that information on it. I looked up everything Stitch and I keep an eye out for special looking Build-A-Bears. Love the most recent Build-A-Bear video. Pick this one up um, at the bins of plushies. I'm sorry. Pick this one up in a bin of plushies at a rummage sale for $3. He looks good, right? There it is. So thank you for watching my Build-A-Bear video. Did you see the one where I compare eBay and Mercari? Oh my goodness. You guys, if you have Build-A-Bear, definitely put them on Mercari. Um, a lot of times the ones that are flooded on eBay will sell for more on Mercari. The harder to find ones, it's just, I don't know. Check out that video. I haven't really done a comparison lately, but uh, that video is definitely eye-opening. And if you're not selling on Mercari, there are no selling fees anymore. So that's bad for the buyer because they've been passed along to the buyer, but it's great for the sellers. Um, told you guys this before. I sold something for $95 and Mercari put the entire $95 into my account. I was like, ah! no selling fees. It's crazy. I hate it as a buyer, but love it as a seller. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, if you're not on Mercari and you would like to get on Mercari, I do have a referral link down below. You can get $10 to shop with that when you join with it and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of items. So thank you for using that. I get money to shop also. And um, I love buying and selling on Mercari, but uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about the Build-A-Bear? Where do you sell your Build-A-Bear? Let me know in the comments if you've had more luck on either Mercari or Poshmark or possibly another platform. This one is a Skell Animals Shadow Kit the Cat Hot Topic exclusive. And it says, in addition to looking up everything Lilo and Stitch, is it Lilo or Lilo? I always mess that one up, I think. Maybe it's Lilo. I think it's Lilo. <laughs> <laughs> or Build-A-Bear. I always keep an eye out for anything that feels like it's in the realm of Gothic, Hello Kitty, or Halloween. Here is something called Skeletanimal. Skeletanimal. Guess these here were sold at Hot Topic. This took almost a year to sell, paid a dollar. The only reason it took a year to sell is because at the time I listed it, there were zero listed, and the last one on Worth Point, Terra Peak, sold for $125. Since one hadn't been listed in a while, I listed mine high at 175. Over the next nine to 12 months, more were listed and they were all listed, sold cheaper than mine. Eventually, after a few price reductions, it sold for 50. So basically what they're saying is when they listed it, there wasn't any others listed. They listed it really high. You know, we list it, we forget it. And eventually they're like, I need to reduce my price, reduce their price and the item sold. Uh, Terra Peak is free through eBay. And Worth Point is a paid service. I love Worth Point. I have it. I use it. I have videos that um, I like tutorials or how to use it. Uh, I think I can't remember if I have one linked down below in the description or not. If I don't, just type in Bolo Buddies Worth Point and you can check that out and see if it's a good fit for you.
This one says, I found this mouse at a local Goodwill for $2 and a lot more plush. Got it home, did a little research, and, and Amazon, they were sold out. So I listed it high, and a couple of weeks later, woke up to a sold. I couldn't believe it. Paid $7.50 for shipping, but I upgraded them to priority mail just a few dollars more, but I, don't, I didn't mind, and it even had a rip down the side of the dress. And it looks like it sold for $85.74. So that's fabulous. I don't even know. Baby Mouse Merry Makers Jennifer Holm Plush 2012. Huh. Never seen that one before. Have, has anybody seen that one? That's new to me. There it is. $85.74. Rip in the dress. This one is a vintage Pudge Manhattan toy frog from 1997. Found this plush for a dollar at the Haven Thrift Store for one dollar and sold it on auction for 53. I should have put the auction for a higher price because this is a very rare plush. I'm still super happy with my profit. eBay store is flipping fantastic finds. Thank you for sharing, everyone. I appreciate it. The next one here is also from flipping fantastic finds. It is a vintage cherry cloth stuffed plush white and blue bunny rabbit. I recommend looking up anything that is terry cloth. She said, got it at the Goodwill for a dollar and sold it the same day for 47. It's just a little guy, it looks like. Let's see. Yeah, about six inches. Just a little guy. This is, says, I found this. Wait a minute. I'm confused. Well... Did I miss one? I might have missed one. It says, spot the dog, gunned small plush. It sold for 60. How did I miss this one? Well, goodness me. Did I not hit? Hold on. All comments. I might have goofed. I might have goofed. Hang on here. Well, isn't that interesting? I wonder if I can hold the phone up and show you guys. You can't really see it that well. Let me show you. Let me do this. Let's see if we can show you this little guy. Can you see it? There he is. So it is by Gund. Let's go back and see what it says. Spot the dog at our local thrift for 50 cents and he just sold for 60. This is Red Ruler Reseller on Mercari. Let me see if I did this one. This one is, oh, that's the one the link wouldn't open. Okay, that's what I think happened there. All right, sorry, guys. We're doing this on the fly, on the fly. Okay, Squishmallow. She says, let me make sure this is the right one. Yes. She says, took eight months to sell. I paid $2 at the Goodwill. I accepted an offer for $55 on Mercari. I had an issue with the shipment. The tracking never updated to delivered and the customer said she never got it. I emailed Mercari and they rate me, paid me and closed the order. I really don't know what happened, but I'm happy how they handled the situation. Thanks, Courtney, for your videos and teachings. Oh, that's interesting. Well, good. I'm glad Mercari covered um, that for you and wonder why the shipping label never updated. Do you think they just didn't scan it maybe? How big is this thing? Oh my goodness. Okay, so. I'm seeing a delivery fee of $24.97, which would be a hard pass for me as far as a shipping cost. I know it's big and maybe she lives far from me. I'm not sure. But what I do on Mercari, and you don't have to do this, but I do free shipping, especially now that there's no seller fees. And because when the buyer sees their invoice or makes an offer, they're going to see what the item costs, tax shipping, uh, the processing fee and the selling fee. So that's a lot of adding up. So, uh, just be mindful of that and think about free shipping. I would say even increasing the price of your item to help cover the shipping is going to be one less line they see in the fee section. So I don't know. I different opinions on the Mercari and the seller fees versus buyer's fees and all of that stuff. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But free shipping, I do free shipping and I use pirate ship. That's how I do it. 
Mercari does offer the labels, but sometimes they're kind of pricey. And another bad thing is if you have Mercari and you ship um, FedEx or uh, UPS, you cannot ship to a P.O. box. So you lose any buyers that have a P.O. box. So just something else to think about. If you have that free shipping, then um, you don't have to worry about that. You just have to make sure that you are communicating with the buyer and you know that they want to ship it USPS because FedEx and uh, UPS do not ship to P.O. boxes, right? I'm right on that, right? I know I'm right on that because I just know. I just know. All right, here we go. Lamb chop hand pocket. It's not a pocket. It's a puppet. Hand puppet dated uh, 1993. Sherry Lewis vintage dog stuffed toy. This was sold by Piece of Scrap. She's also on YouTube. Check her out. She has an awesome YouTube channel. She sells a lot of clothing, but also dabbles in hard goods. So you will definitely learn from her. She paid $3 at the Goodwill. Sold this for $39 plus shipping on Poshmark. And plush at the bins after everyone had already gone through the bin. And to kill time while waiting for the next rotation, I knew it was old. I Google lensed it and figured out it may be a Rushton. You guys, this was a picked over bin. She found this in a picked over bin. What? Hurried and checked out. After researching later at home, I discovered it's an incredibly rare Rushton from an old cartoon. It was up less than 24 hours and it sold to a collector who has been looking for it for years, who offered $800. She said her mom and sister's YouTube channel is Mother Daughter Thrift, if anyone wants to check it out. So yes, if you guys share Bolo, please feel free to shout out your selling platforms, your social media. If you have a YouTube channel, if you're on whatnot, put it in the comment. Let me um, mention it in the video and maybe you'll find uh, somebody that's interested in checking you out on your platform or on social media. But this is awesome. It's an extremely rare Russian star creation Sylvester Fox Rubber Face Terry Tunes Plush. Oh my goodness, it has the tag on it. So she probably paid like two bucks for this, maybe three. It was originally $4.95. Wow, it's in pretty good condition. $800. That is fabulous. Like three bucks into $800. Uh, yes, thank you very much. This one is mine. And I sold this for $46.50 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked this up at the Goodwill Bins. All of these Chantilly Lane musical uh, bears or whatever they are. I think there's rabbits. I always pick up Chantilly Lane. They usually sell. But their mouths move and their head, they're like, I don't want to call them articulated, but they move. They like move and their mouth moves and they're super cute. And they're usually like sing something cute or say something funny, but this one I got at the Goodwill bin. So probably had about five bucks in it. And there it is. And that one was mine. This one comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, who is also on YouTube and has a very super educational YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. This is a gunned classic Beatrix Potter Benjamin Bunny eight and a half rab inch rabbit. She said, not a huge bolo, but gunned Beatrix Potter is gonna sell. Sold for $17.23 on a 25% off sale and they were all in for $21.94 shipped. Maybe paid 25 cents at fill a bag last day of an estate sale. Customer left great feedback. So there you go. Just, you know, a lot of plush is just long tail and sells for a good profit. I mean, 25 cents into 17. I don't know how long she had to sit on this, but it may have sold quick. She's saying Beatrix Potter typically does well. That's the takeaway. Here is another one that pretty much always does well is Sanrio. She said, this little gal is tiny, fits in the palm of your hand. I purchased her in a large buy of Sanrio items at an estate sale, and she has long since been paid for. Hello Kitty is big right now and always has been. Customer paid $35.08 on offer to watchers. They were all in for $43.25 shipped and received great feedback. Yep, Sanrio. If it's Sanrio, look it up. A lot of the Build-A-Bear Sanrio Hello Kitties do really well as well. This one she said... Um, Paid 25 cents for this, had it listed stupid high and redid the listing. Lots of these out there. It sold for $21.99 and they were all in for $30.46. All in shipped. Very cute, very soft, and very gone. 
So again, a lot of stuffed animals are going to be long tail. This guy is not very big and it it's just she's glad to have it gone. And that's how you're going to feel about a lot of stuffed animals. Some of them are going to fly out of your store because someone's looking for it and others there's going to be others listed and it's going to take a little longer to sell. So you have to decide are you a plush reseller because some people hate it and some people love it. I love it because it is easy to list, easy to ship, and super easy to find cheap, all right? And some of them just go for crazy money, but they're just so soft and easy to ship. You just shove it in a poly mailer. I like the padded poly mailers. Uh, I usually cover the eyes if they have plastic eyes. <laughs> I have to fix my glasses. Um, yeah, I like to cover the eyes in addition to putting them in a padded mailer. So this little necklace... Um, is one that I pulled out of some jewelry that I have. And I'm going to throw this in one of my whatnot sales because I'm going to wear it because I got so much and then I'm going to sell it. So you will see this in a future whatnot show. Isn't it cute? It's got the little white. Um, I think it's maybe dyed halite. I don't know. I'm not very good with what stones or what, but I think this is dyed halite. But I just thought it was so cute. So I threw it on. And again, um, if you're not following me on whatnot, what I do is I dump bags of jewelry and we sort through it together and untangle it and have a good time. Everything starts at $5 or less. You see me doing this because I don't want to do this. <laughs> Everything starts at $5 or less. We dig through. I hold it up and I'm like, all right, who wants it? And I put it on the little bust and I show you guys what it looks like. And then um, camera goes back down to the pile. It's super fun, guys. You should come hang out. Even if you don't want to buy, just come hang out. I'm going to wear this in I think my next video. <laughs> and then I'm going to sell it on whatnot. I love plastic. It's so fun. Um, I also have this really pretty stone one. I think I'm going to wear this in one of my videos tonight too. I'm doing videos and I'm like playing in the jewelry. So um, look for those in a future whatnot. And uh, $15 to shop if you use my referral link to join whatnot. And you can use that with anyone. You don't have to use it with any me. Just me. You can use it with anyone. But come hang out. All right? Come hang out. It's live. You can talk to people in the chat. We drink coffee and we have so much fun. So I hope to see you there. And thanks for watching.